Hey guys, how's it going? Well, this is a gun that I've been wanting to get out and take a look at and do a little review on. This is my Colt Python. Two and a half inch barrel. Royal blue finish. Walnut brips. Now, the last uh, run of Colt Pythons had a red ramp in front, and they also had the white outline in the back. This is an older Python. Royal blue finish, and it's just absolutely stunning. It's never been fired. It's brand new in the box, and it's just one of my... Uh, cool pythons in my collection. I was going to do a review of a uh, six inch diamond back that I had. Again, brand new in the box, never been fired. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and break this one out. Cool pythons are just absolutely stunning. Hand fitted lock works. Also hand polished. You have your grooved trigger, 357 Magnum. And then this beautiful royal blue finish. And I'll tell you, you're not going to find a more beautiful, beautiful gun. And what's even more beautiful than that is it's not just beauty that's skin deep. You also have your back strap that is grooved. This works on a transfer bar system. You have six shots. The lockup is very, very tight on this. This is an iframe. The rear sights are adjustable. You have your contrast on the hammer. And there's just not a more beautiful gun. What's really nice is The positive butter smooth it's like warm butter it has a transfer bar system and this transfer bar system this is a D frame Colt that uh, I actually use carry and shoot this is a D frame Now, this python has the hammer spur. When this goes down, you can see it engage. It's very positive, by the way. This is a 38 special, and it will handle plus P rounds because it's steel. And before anybody rags me on this and did I, you know, did I check the guns? All the guns have been checked to see if they were unloaded. I'm not going to shoot you through the screen. So, uh, leave those comments uh, for somebody else's video. But this is a six shot as well. But what is beautiful about this
this transfer bar will come up and it will stop. It's got a floating pin, uh, firing pin. When you hold down on the trigger, many guns have this. When you hold down on the trigger, that bar goes down and the firing pin, floating firing pin, goes forward. So there is a lack of that, a lack of your uh, hammer spur. Or firing pin, I'm sorry. Uh, it's very, very been a long day. But this firing pin internally here, when this comes down, it engages that and it's so positive. Lockup is so tight. On it. Just a beautiful gun. Very beautiful. This is the Smith & Wesson Model 19 that I really, really like. It's a classic. And it has... Cool. Has different mechanisms. And if this is a uh, K-frame. But pound for pound, you know, if you're going to check, if you're going to try and do a comparison between this and the Python, uh, I think you will like both equally as well. Uh, although the Python's going to have the edge when it comes to, I'm not, in this configuration, 2.5 inch barrel, I'm not going to say it's going to be uh, a whole lot more accurate. Now, when you get into the, uh, it will be more accurate to the point that <laughs> the hand polished lock works and the hand fitted uh, internal mechanisms. Uh, those are just butter smooth. So, I mean, it will give you better accuracy, but it will give you, m most of them will give you better accuracy if the barrel's longer. So, like on my 4 inch and my 6 inch and my 8 inch, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a better, you're actually, those guns are, pythons are legendary for their accuracy. As far as reliability goes, any of these guns would get you by. But this is this is a gun that I have always, always, always uh, been in love with. As much as you can love an inanimate object. Has the walnut grips on them. I've got the paperwork, I've got the tags, I've got the receipts. You will not find a more beautiful specimen. Anyway guys, take it easy. That's my two and a half inch Colt Python. Shep told me, Shep is a fellow that I've been keep up the videos guy that you've got an amazing collection just stunning uh, I, I just love watching your videos but he said yeah you know you uh, I think he said it or there may have been somebody else that said it uh, you need to uh, feature your uh, I had just did a video a long long time ago the audio wasn't very good and I did was I think it may have been my very first first video the audio wasn't very good and uh but 
somebody commented, you know, you need to do a review on each each piece, and uh, so I'm trying to do that slowly but surely as time allows. But that's it, Cole Python, two and a half inch. Uh, I wish they made these. I wish they continued to make them, but. Uh, you know, Colt was having a lot of problems with uh, right before uh, they dropped the Python line, and you know these guns have been around. You can you can look at the history and you can go into it. I'm not going to go into it now. I'm already ten minutes in, but I'm not going to bore you with all that. But people who own Pythons uh, will tell you that. You, you will just not be disappointed in any way, shape, or form. I guarantee you, when you, uh, when someone sees this, it's, it's something that the wow factor is undeniable. And when they hold it, and when they fire it, same thing. So, you know, on, as it comes to handguns and this and Colt. This is the pinnacle of the Colt uh, Colt revolver. Is the Colt Python. Now they make the Anaconda. I've got a King Cobra. I don't have an Anaconda. The reason I don't have an Anaconda was because I wasn't too crazy about uh, the craftsmanship. I got spoiled by the Pythons. Uh, I've got a six inch Anaconda and uh, it's 357 Magnum, and it's on a Mark, I forget, uh, it's on a different frame. But I was spoiled by the Pythons. I should have gone after a Viper. You know, a Viper is a D-frame uh, that they made in 4-inch barrel, and, I, and a 6-inch barrel, too. Uh, Colt actually... Have, they, they've made several variations. You've got a Python Hunter. Uh, you've got a Python Target. Uh, the Target and the Hunter are 8 inch. The Target version will only uh, is only made to shoot the 38 Special. And uh, the Python Hunter comes with the Leopold, Leopold Scope, a Halliburton case. And I wish I could... Oh gosh, you know, when it came out, it was, I think, uh, 875. Man, I really wanted one bad. Uh, I wish I would have gotten that because, I mean, those things are worth so much, so much. But as far as investment potential and enjoyment, and uh, if you love to shoot guns, something like this. Is something I think anyone would have a just have a ball with. But this particular model right here in this one, uh, these have never been fired, and they won't be fired. They're collector's pieces, and when you fire, now you know I've I've got a lot of different and and it goes throughout the whole uh, entire uh, range of opinions. But, you know, why would you have a gun if you don't fire? Well, investment potential, and believe me, uh, the investment on this is more than tripled. So, you know, it does make a difference. But, at the same time, if you can, if you can have access to a python, and if you own a python, and if you go out and take a python out shooting, uh, you will have a very enjoyable experience. So in both ways, I enjoy uh, all these firearms. But my collector's firearms are just that, uh, kept for collector's purposes and investment. If you're going to invest in something, invest in something that will uh, will appreciate and always give you your money back, if not more. And that's been my philosophy, and it's worked out fine. 
and this is a stunning piece as is the model 19 and the classic detective special I've got a lot of those detective specials and I've got a lot of Cobras and when I say a lot I've got like I don't know three or four of each but uh, the pythons have got the royal blue set in two and a half inch four inch six inch and eight inch and I was lucky to get those and I'm very happy with them anyway guys take it easy I hope you enjoyed it later on